Hello everyone, this is the Arduino based sound detector I built. Um, this allows me to monitor sounds in a remote location. Uh, originally I intended this to be used as a baby monitor and uh, so that's what it is but you could use it for all sorts of other things. Um, it consists of two units, a transmitter and a receiver. Um, the transmitter's got a microphone on it and then the receiver has um, some various indicators on it that will alert you when different thresholds of sound are exceeded. So let's look at the transmitter real quick. So it's a uh, Node MCU uh, with a simple uh, electric microphone on it and a LM358N op amp. I'm just using one half of it. It's just a simple uh, mic amplifier circuit that's feeding into the uh, analog input on the Node MCU here. Just using the onboard voltage, 3.3 um, volts from the transmitter to power the, the circuit there. It's pretty, pretty simple. The receiver is also a Node MCU. Uh, it's got uh, a couple LED, a few LEDs on it, uh, this little button here and a buzzer on it. Uh, the lights alert you when different sound thresholds are exceeded. The buzzer gives you a audible warning that the high level has been exceeded. And this is a mute button uh, and indicator light here for the mute. So you can mute the buzzer, you know, if you wake up in the middle of the night or you don't want to hear it going off. So let's get them booted up and see how they work. So let's power up the transmitter and see how it works. The Node MCU has two built-in LEDs, one down here by the USB port, and then another one up here by the Wi-Fi module. The light down here by the USB port indicates that the unit is booted up and the web server is running, both the web server for the web app and the web socket server, which allows real-time communication back and forth. I'll go over the web app in a, in a minute here. Uh, this light down here will indicate whether the low threshold volume has been exceeded by the sound level. That gives you kind of a quick, easy way to determine what the lowest threshold is. Although, again, you can see all that on the web app, which I'll show you in a minute. So we'll power this up. Just needs USB power, and uh, we'll see it. We'll see it boot up here. So you can see the light blinking, meaning it's trying to boot up. So solid there means it's booted up, connected to Wi-Fi, and the web, web server is running. And you can see the blue light flashing as I talk because it's detecting sound. So that's the transmitter. Now let's power up the receiver. The receiver's very similar. The solid light down here indicates that it's up and connected to Wi-Fi. The light down here on the Wi-Fi module is a bit different. It tells you whether it's connected to the transmitter successfully. So a solid light down here indicates that it is uh, communicating actively with the transmitter back and forth. So we'll boot the receiver up here. So you can see it blinking, it's going through the setup loop. And as soon as it connects to Wi-Fi, it connects to the, the WebSocket server on the transmitter right away. So those two lights should be solid on the receiver all the time. And this light should be solid over here. And this light will be blinking whenever it detects sound. And you can see that the green light has come on now. That is because it's detecting my voice and it's sending those signals over. It's not sending the signals, it's sending the values of that, that noise uh, over to the receiver. And the receiver uh, compares it to the values that are set up in the web app. Uh, so this is the low threshold, the medium, and the high. And then, like I said earlier, the mute button there. So if I just tap on the microphone, you'll see it increase the value. So you should see it go from green to yellow. Oh, I went straight to red. I must have been too loud. And we'll mute that so that it doesn't keep turning it on. And you can see the LEDs turn back off red, yellow, green. And so let's see if I can... Go slowly here and there. So there's yellow. And it'll drop back down to green once the, the value reduces. And this, the transmitter runs a, a rolling average. And you can adjust that uh, to get a more fine-tuned detection of the sounds you're hearing. 
so and, and again I'll show you that on the web app in just a minute so if we go all the way up and so now we're red so that would mean the alarm were going off if the mute button weren't pressed now since the mute is on I intended this to be something that you know in the middle of the night if the baby wakes up uh, we can just press the mute button so we don't have to keep hearing the buzzer going off when one of us goes up to the to the room to see the baby so it does have an auto unmute feature, so it'll unmute after five minutes of being turned on. If you just press the button again though, it will turn off the mute as well. But you can just press it once and it'll turn off after five minutes. Uh, and that's pretty handy for, for hitting it in the middle of the night and making sure you do hear it next time the baby cries. So that's about it for the transmitter and the receiver. They're pretty basic. Uh, you could build multiple receivers if you wanted to. Uh, you can connect up to four receivers to the transmitter. So you could build multiples of these and they would all establish communication automatically and get the same signal all at the same time. So uh, let me fire up the web app and we'll show you that. Okay, so the transmitter and the receiver are still running. Uh, now I have the web app fired up on this iPhone up here. Uh, and it's just a simple home screen icon on your phone. So you just click it, it'll connect to the transmitter. The transmitter's got the web page built into it, and it does take a minute to load. So there you go. And so now the web app is communicating with the transmitter, and the receiver is also still communicating. So all three devices are getting the same numbers. And so you can see that when the green light turns on over here, it turns on on these two and vice versa when it turns off, these turn off. And if we go up to yellow, there we go, they all turn yellow, go back to green, go back to gray. So the current mic delta value is the value that the transmitter is putting out based on the average that it's calculating. Uh, and we have a couple of settings on here that you can change. So if you just scroll down to the settings section. So the first one is night mode. Uh, night mode was almost essential for these the blue LEDs are really, really bright, and so they tend to light up both the baby's room and our room at night. So night mode was intended to be able to turn those lights off. Night mode turns off the onboard LEDs, but it does not turn off the indication or status LEDs uh, to let you know how loud the volume is. So if we hit that, you'll see this iPhone will change up here, and the lights on the transmitter and the receiver will turn off. So there you go. Okay, so moving back down, uh, we've got the low alert, mid alert, and high alert values. Those you can change, uh, and those basically modify at which level the alerts will go off. So low alert is green, mid alert is yellow, high alert is red. High alert will also sound the alarm like I've said before, so you can just change those and just pull those sliders over. And now you can see I can talk as loud as I was before, but it's not alerting because it's not at a value above 45. So if I tap this, so still, so there, now 55, it'll go green, but it'll slowly fall back down. And now you can also, let me mute it real quick, you can change this all the way down. So now we're at 5, 10, and 15, and you can see instantly in the red is pretty much with any amount of talking whatsoever. So that's a handy thing, just to be able to fine tune a little bit. The last setting on the bottom here is mic input smoothing. That calculates how many averages the mic reading wants to take into account to send to the, to the receivers. I have a detailed write-up of how that works on my GitHub page, so you can look at that if you're interested. But basically, the higher that value, the slower the mic delta value will change. So right now I've got it set at about 17. I set it at about 30 um, normally for detecting the baby. And again, that'll kind of be up to you and, and your use uh, for this. So now you can see as I'm talking, you can see the mic delta value changes much more slowly. Uh, and if, it, if I'm quiet for a minute, you'll see it start to drop. And see it slowly drops down and again if I go the other way with the mic smoothing input smoothing you see that value jumps all over the place and if I'm quiet it almost goes down, back down instantly 
So there you go. So you can adjust that and the alert thresholds as well. And the uh, night mode is, is also pretty essential. And like I said before, anything you change on here uh, instantly updates on the other devices as well. That's the beauty of using web sockets for, for something like this. Uh, one other note, when you do change a value on here, that value is transmitted to the transmitter. Uh, the transmitter acknowledge it, acknowledges that message, changes the internal values, and then rebroadcasts those values out to the rest of the devices. So you can actually see on here, I don't know if you can see that very well, but if you look at the, the alert values up here, when I change these down here, I'm going to change this bottom one, and you you can see them change on this phone. Now as soon as I let go, those values will get transmitted here, and then it'll broadcast out, and you'll see them change on that top phone. And there you go, instantly changes on the top phone as soon as I let go. So uh, that's about it for the web app. You can also use it as a, as a nice monitor. Uh, like the other day I was out in the garage and I just pulled up the app uh, so I could see uh, what what was going on in the baby's room, if it was too loud or anything like that. Uh, I also have a link to uh, the circuit for this in my GitHub uh, readme for this project, as well as full build instructions and, of course, all the code. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And that's all for now.